So this week we want to answer the old question: What's the difference between stir frying and sautéing? So we're gonna cook up some broccoli with garlic using sautéing in the Western method and stir frying as the Chinese method. So to get started with both, we blanch some broccoli in boiling water for about thirty to forty seconds. No matter the cuisine, we're big believers in blanching veg before frying. Cooks more evenly and gives a more vibrant color. Now, stir fry and saute are really more similar than they are different. Oil-based cooking method, medium to high heat, move stuff around. To get started with saute, as I'm sure you know, you'll put your pan over medium heat, wait a minute or so, and add in your oil. After about another minute, once your oil begins to leave little streaks in the pan. You're ready to start your saute. Aromatics in. Here I opted for some thinly sliced garlic. When stir frying, it's precisely this oil adding ritual that you got to relearn. With stir fry, you're not gonna wait for your oil to heat up. What you'll do is lang yao. Long time viewers have probably heard us talk about this before. Lang yao is step one to every stir fry. First, you get a clean wok piping hot. You're looking for basically steak searing temperature. This serves two purposes. First, it'll preheat your wok, and second, it'll evaporate any moisture that's clung to your wok, so that your oil will bind to create a nonstick surface. Once it's hot enough that your hand can feel some obvious heat when putting it in the wok, shut off the heat and add in your oil. Chefs will generally do this step off the flame instead of shutting the stove off, but either way, you're just making sure that things aren't so hot that the oil will smoke. Give that wok a nice swirl. Your nonstick frying surface will extend to anywhere that oil swirls to. Now immediately add in your aromatics and then turn your stove to the heat you want. Here I'm going for medium. This technique is called rugo liang yao, a hot pot cool oil, and it's quite important to make sure that your initial ingredients don't scorch and burn in that preheated wok. Going back to the saute, I'm letting those garlic slices infuse the flavor of the garlic into the oil. After a minute or so, once those slices are almost golden brown, I'll go in with a veg and start to saute the guy. With stir fry, because the wok's quite hot and we're using minced garlic, we're just gonna fry it for 15 seconds or so, then up the heat to high and hit it with our broccoli. Sautéing will stay on medium heat, and after about two minutes, the broccoli should be done. Season with salt, some freshly ground black pepper, and out. Stir-fried broccoli, on the other hand, only needs like 45 more seconds. We'll do a standard Cantonese seasoning: salt, sugar, and a cornstarch slurry for sheen, and out. So, right, two absurdly similar cooking methods.、Um, either way is fine. Stir-fry is a little bit quicker. We are back on March 13th for another proper recipe video.、Uh, in the meantime, we'll just have another couple of these videos. So stay tuned for that and subscribe for more Chinese cooking videos.